What's up guys, Justin here, and today I've got my review of Into Circuit's 15,000 milliamp hour external battery. Now, a while back I reviewed Into Circuit's 11,200 milliamp hour external battery, and I was and still am a huge fan of it today. So I'm very happy their new 15,000 milliamp model bears a strong resemblance to it. So it's no waste any time, let's get right into this review. Let's kick things off with design. Like its little brother, the battery is a nice brushed aluminum body that is definitely eye-catching. The battery features a small LCD display that will give you information about the battery, such as its remaining battery percentage and the amount of power being outputted at that second. As for the battery's form factor, I'm definitely impressed. I've reviewed more than a few large capacity batteries on the channel, and this one is definitely high up on the list of best form factors. So overall, Into Circuit knocked it out of the park with this battery's design. Next, let's talk about if you should get the previous 11,200mAh model, or if you should spend the extra money on the 15,000mAh model. Model. So the pros of going with the previous model is that it's cheaper and it takes up less space, and the main con is that you do not get as many charges for your device and have to recharge the battery itself more frequently. Moving on to the new model, the main pro is that you get more charges for your device, and therefore don't have to charge the battery itself as often. Now at this point in time, the main con is the price. On Amazon, the newer model retails for $55, while the previous model is about half of that price at $27. This may have changed by the time you are watching this though, so I will leave links down below to both models. But at this point in time, I have to go with the 11,200 milliampere model, but if Into Circuit is able to lower the price of the newer model, I'd go with that one. So that's good for me guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.